Hello everybody, welcome to Le Tuto de Rito. I am Rito, your English teacher, hopefully your favorite English teacher. I have no idea. Um, but today, today I have a special lesson. Yes, I do. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to stop saying yes, no, uh, I don't know, um, how are you, I'm fine, thank you, and you, you know, all these expressions that people generally use and, well, I'd like to change them and I'd like to give you tips um, to improve your English and sound more fluent and authentic and natural. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, let's start with um, yes. Stop saying yes. Um, so instead of yes, you can say sure, sure, no problem, why not? Or even of course. Do you like, uh, do you like rock music? Of course I do. Uh, now, when you respond to an offer, well, you can say, uh, imagine someone tells you, w uh, would you like to, to, to go to the movies? I'd love that. I'd love that. Or, you bet. You bet. Now, when you agree with someone or with an offer, uh, stop saying yes. Just say, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, totally, totally, definitely, definitely. Now, stop saying no. No is fine, but there are many other ways of saying no. Instead of no, you can say, mm, I'm afraid not. Uh, excuse me, do you have time? I need help. Can you help me? Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm too busy. Uh, do you like spicy food? Mm, not really. Oh, do you prefer Chinese food then? Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Of course not. When it's obvious, you can say, of course not. And if you really don't want this, you say, oh, no way. Would you like to come to the cinema with me? Uh, no way. So there is no way I'm going to the cinema with you. This is rude. Now, number three, stop saying, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, why don't you say, um, I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea. Uh, can you tell me where the, the library is? I have no idea. Or, I don't have a clue. I have no clue. Can you tell me the way to the library, please? I don't have a clue. I have no clue where the library is. Okay? Hmm. Now, number four. Stop saying, how are you? Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's, it's good, it's all right. But um, you can change, can't you? So, instead of uh, how are you, you can say, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hello, how is it going? How are you doing? How's it going? Hello, you all right? You all right? Or are you all right? Hey, you all right? Um, you can say, hello, how have you been? How, how have you been? How have you been? I've been, I've been tired. I've been busy. Oh, maybe, what's up? Hey, what's up? Not much. Oh, how are things? Hello, how are things? How is everything? Hi there, how is everything? Good? Or maybe you can say, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hello, what's going on? I'm good, thanks. Number five, stop saying, I'm fine, thank you. 
um, this is great, but you can change once again. So instead of I'm fine, thank you, you may say I'm good. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm great. I'm great. I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. Now, number six, stop saying very. So you can use another adverb like really, okay? Instead of saying very, you can say, oh, I'm really tired. I'm very tired. I'm really tired. I'm very hungry. I'm really hungry. Or extremely, you can say, I'm extremely hungry. I'm extremely tired. Now, let me give you another tip. Instead of saying very hungry or very tired, you could very well decide to mix those two words into one word. For example, very tired. I'm very tired. I'm exhausted. I'm very hungry. I'm starving. I'm very cold. I'm freezing. I'm very happy. I'm excited. Uh, he is very funny. He is hilarious. He's hilarious. She is very beautiful. She is gorgeous. Okay? So try to use more precise vocabulary to improve your language. Okay, now number six, stop saying what? Stop saying what? Um, many people say, uh, repeat please. No, never ever say, repeat please. Blah, 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 blah. Eh? Repeat please. No, this is so rude. But you should probably say, can you say that again? Uh, excuse me, can you say that again instead of what? Or can you repeat? I prefer, can you say that again? Or just, sorry? Sorry? Or, what was that? What was that? And when you are very surprised, when you hear something that uh, makes you angry or surprised, you say, what did you just say? What did you just say? I beg your pardon? You know, you feel really upset. Excuse me? Excuse me? And last but not least, stop saying goodbye, okay? Goodbye is great, but there are so many other ways to say goodbye. So you can say bye, bye-bye, see you later, I'll see you soon, or not just see you soon, but I'll, I will see you soon, I'll see you soon, I'll see you around. You can say take care, Take care. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I've got to go. And you, when you say that quickly, you say, I gotta go. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Or you can say, I'm off. I'm off. All right, what time is it? Oh, God, I'm off. I'm off. Um, if you think you will see the person again soon, you can say, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Have a great day, or uh, have a great day is quite American. If you want to sound more British, you would probably say have a lovely day. Have a lovely day, have a great day, have a lovely day. Okay, thank you so much. I hope those tips were helpful. I think it's, it's really important for people who learn English like you to be able to change the way they speak. And it's not so difficult, it's just uh, a habit. It's just something that you have to think about. Okay? So practice, watch this video again, repeat, take notes and uh, try to uh, apply those tips next time you speak to a, a person. Okay? So I'll leave it there for today. Thank you so much for your attention and for your kind words and comments and for your thumbs up and for helping spread the word. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye bye everybody. Cheers.